I first grabbed four of these paper towel holders from Dollar Tree. You wanna just place two of them together so that way the bottoms are on both sides and I just hold these together using some zip ties. And you could use as many zip ties as you want just to make sure that it is nice and sturdy. And then you wanna just do the same thing to the other two. Next, I am using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink. Now before somebody says, why don't you just spray paint it? It'll be so much easier. Well, I did. And the spray paint just didn't want to adhere to this metal. So when in doubt, use chalk paint and then just spray it with some clear sealant. So I am using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge to apply the chalk paint. This is just so much better of a coverage rather than using a paintbrush. Then got this plastic basket, also came from Dollar Tree. I will be using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Elephant, but first, this basket is super glossy, so I just went around it with a sanding block or sanding sponge, sanding paper, whatever you have. Just make sure you sand it first. And then using a different Dollar Tree cut up sponge, just began applying that chalk paint all around the top part of this basket as well as the inside and that's it you don't have to do the sides or anything like that and for this i did end up doing two coats dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow everything to dry you then just want to get some foam board also came from dollar tree and just kind of measure out each of the sides of that basket and also, I apologize in advance that my camera is super blurry. It's not your phone. It is my camera. It'll go back to normal eventually. But once you have all of those sides traced out on that foam board, you want to just use a box cutter to cut those pieces right up. Then grabbed two of these wallpapers. Also came from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and trace out the foam board onto the back of them and then just cut those right out as well. And I know these already have a sticky adhesive on the back of them, but just for some extra support, I applied Mod Podge onto the foam board before applying that wallpaper. And after you apply the wallpaper, you do just wanna let the Mod Podge air dry because heat and these foam boards just do not mix well. So now let's go ahead and assemble this together. I'm just using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just placing that foam board all around that basket. And if you are using this basket, please be careful for your fingers since there are those holes on the back side. And look at how cute that is. Then grab those paper towel holders. Now you could use hot glue or adhesive glue for this. It did not work for me, so I had a plan B. I just drilled some holes to the bottom of that basket and just held the paper towel holders using some zip ties. And honestly, the zip ties are way more durable than using hot glue anyway, so it worked out in the end. And once you have that all put together, look at how adorable this is. You could put whatever you want inside of this, but I just put in some floral foam and just added some floral that I got from Dollar Tree. And look at how adorable this came out. I absolutely love it. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.